this is uh, the record high level. It's consistent with the second quarter level as well. But we're sitting here and the consumers around the world are really pulling the economies and impacting the GDP. The highest level in the world is in India, but China is very high. The ASEAN region is high. U.S. is very high. In Europe, you see Germany and the Netherlands uh, also very high. The lowest in the world is South Korea. And, of course, Hong Kong has taken a big hit because of the, the happenings there. The issue here, Carl, is that we're starting to see a little nervousness, a little anxiety around job uh, security. And that's, of course, is a major impact on this. The other thing is CEO confidence is dropping like a rock. This has been the biggest gap between the consumer confidence and CEO confidence. And that CEO confidence impacts, it keeps going down and it impacts investments. So the question is, are the consumers going to continue to, to pull the economy along or are the CEOs going to drag it down by their lack of investment? Steve, when you see a drop in CEO confidence, is there a correlation or a historical pattern between when that starts to show up in consumer confidence or no? You know, it's, it's hard to say. They're not always related. And, uh, you know, in our economy, for instance, the consumer, as you know, is 70 percent. This global consumer confidence says for the next six months, this is great. So our holiday season should be pretty well cemented here. And uh, that's, that's great for, you know, the next couple of quarters. And so, therefore, I think at some point, either the CEOs need to come along with the consumers, but or the alternate can happen, which is that psychology might come into play here. And if he gets this constant drumbeat of recession, recession, which we don't forecast, but it, it can, we can create one. You know, the media and so forth can create one uh, psychologically. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, in looking at historical cycles, at least with the U.S. numbers, uh, consumer confidence tend to be a little bit of a laggard when it comes to the end of the cycle. Of course, you only know in retrospect when you are at the end of a cycle, Steve. But, you know, the results of the survey are a pretty good reminder, I think, that globally speaking, um, you know, living conditions are getting better. Consumer conditions generally as a long-term trend right. are getting better. So I wonder, though, if there's a lot to be said and drawing from the, the global data in terms of figuring out where we are in the cycle. Do you have a similar question that says, what's the outlook versus current conditions? And how do we put that in context? Well, it's so much focused on jobs. And so that's why this little anxiety that we're starting to see about jobs is important. Now, from the CEO perspective, this trade situation is impacting them. That's what's driving it. So if you can see any kind of resolution, and tomorrow they're meeting again, we don't have any hopes for a big deal. But it, as long as we don't go backwards on this and we can hopefully get to something that's, uh, you know, that, that at least is predictable, then the CEO confidence ought to come back up. But the, but the consumers are spending because the jobs are there. We've got unemployment at 50-year uh, lows here. So it looks like we're pretty well baked here for the next six months.